This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell you every day, the day they release us is false. So I'm gonna give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the bad actors were able to push AMC down to all time lows on Friday. But as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't even matter. And I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell any stock. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell AMC. What I'm telling you is this. They're pushing the price down not because people are selling. They're in the dog pools. They're spoofing. They're washing. They're doing anything they possibly can to push the price down, hoping that retail investors sell their shares. But like I tell every day, I don't think that even matter. Because there are so many whales and institutions sitting on the sidelines waiting to buy up those shares. So the only way out for these bad actors is AMC going bankrupt. And unless Adam Aaron does that on purpose, I don't see that happening. Anyway, but here go the numbers. The, the volume allegedly is 14,105,304 shares. But we know these numbers mean absolutely nothing because we have no idea what's going on in the dog pools. We have no idea what they're doing in there. Okay. And then we got the calls. You got 3,808 calls. And at $5, you'll have an additional 16,850. But these call options mean absolutely nothing. It's just a way for them to make money. Because if they want to push it down below $5, in order to make sure nobody makes any call money, that is what they do, okay? AMC is the most manipulated stock in the history of the stock market. The call options are used as a piggy bank for them in order for these guys to, to get some liquidity every single week. They control the price. Supply and demand means absolutely nothing, okay? And since the market closed on Friday, Somehow they found 11 million shares available to short at 0.7% cost to borrow, which is absolutely outrageous. But why would somebody be so, so desperate for these shares, putting out all these FUD articles, sending the shills into, into Twitter and to YouTube and, and, and Stanko? Even they sent, us, they sent the, 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 the shills all over the place to attack the stock. And then they're only going to lend it out at 0.7%. We know that doesn't make any sense at all. They are not lending it out at that lower price. And these are not even real shares. These are counterfeit shares or probably tokens. But they still are not lending them out at that low price. Anyway, and 5,800,000 of that volume was shorted shares. Okay. Where did they get these shorted shares from? And this is the lowest percentage it's been in a while. So is the liquidity drying up? Of course it is. Are they running out of money? Of course they are. But these guys will fight until you are throwing the dirt on their grave. Okay? Because they have been robbing and stealing from retail investors for so long. They think we don't deserve to make any money off this play. So they will stay in this play until they are throwing dirt on them. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think the liquidity for these bad actors is drying up? And that's why the shares available to short. Are the lowest it's been in a very long time. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.